boys and girls. You know what time it is. So, today's video, again, sponsored by, brought to you by, however you want to say it, Gar Equipment, Dotson, Louisiana, 318-628-2090. Call them up, ask for Spencer, used equipment, parts, you name it, they got it, you need it. Usually they got it if they can't get it. If they ain't got it, I'm sure they can get it for you. Gar Equipment, Dodson, Louisiana, call them up. It's in the northeast corner of Louisiana. So if you're in Arkansas or Mississippi, uh, Tennessee, Alabama, I mean, it's wouldn't be much of a drive northeast Texas. Check them out. Hit them up. They got a website, Facebook. Let's we'll see what they got for sale. Maybe they got something you need. Great people to do business with. So, let's get into today's video. So let's scratch the whole let's go logging thing. And let's go mechanic. <laughs> um, so what we got going on her is, uh, I got the line in the back of my truck over here. Blew a line inside there. And, after I've got everything disassembled and back together, deer tiger cat, those brackets in there that hold the line on, same thing with that bracket over there. Please, for the love of all things holy, make them to where it's like a stud in the frame or tack weld the bolts that you've run through there. Because you have to like, run your hand down the back side back there and then you have to take impact or ratchet or whatever and run up in there and fat man and a short armed fat man at that it's 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 difficult <laughs> so uh anyway this seems down i don't got the line for it got thousands of dollars of hydraulic lines and they got the one i need ain't that how it always goes so uh and I'm, I'm, I don't know how we can see it now. It's probably all soaked in. Uh, I put this on TikTok and I'll put it here too. If you have one of these newer Tiger Cat machines like this and it has the auto um, accumulate mode in it and you blow a line and you're looking for the leak, turn the auto accumulate back off um so what happened on that with me was i was crawled up in this cubby right here it's gonna be looking i knew I, my leak was in here somewhere i couldn't pinpoint exactly where it was at though because the, the whole inside was was wet and uh so i had mickey come get in the machine and he cranked it and um we went to working functions and he bumped the the big arms back here and the way that auto accumulate works on these tire cats is if you bump this arm the little arms will then activate once once you once you bump this whether you bump it or you hold it once you turn loose of this function this function starts closing and then it closes for so many seconds and then it holds pressure for so many seconds and whenever he quit touching that function it set this function off and I'm trapped in here and we got an oil bath so if you're looking for lines blown lines Oh, this phone. Uh, make sure you, you turn that function off. Uh, or if you have the foot pedal in the floor like this one does. Or, you know, use the foot pedal because the foot pedal don't activate the auto accumulate. It could be a bad thing, especially if you're like up here working on the head somewhere up here. And something happens and somebody don't think about that. Man get hurt pretty quick if those arms go to taking off and just like us you know we're not really familiar with this machine yet so like mickey reaching for the key to turn the dang thing off and we're used to the key being in a different location so just out of muscle memory he goes to reaching in one place and the key's in a different place so um i mean he was doing everything right uh is just an oversight and that's how accidents happen is oversight nothing was hurt other than me getting covered with hydraulic oil uh now I'm I'm well lubed. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Tidbit of information. I'm going to go get this line 
I don't know if I'm coming back today or not. When I do come back to work, y'all come back with me. So, yeah. Woo, what a day. And the tapping y'all are hearing, we got a, a chain stretched in there and it's tapping the floor and the bottom. It ain't hurting nothing. That's what that tapping is. Silence before the chaos actually begins today. It's quite peaceful out here in the morning times. Anyway, let's go make some racket and get this day started. That's not a good sign. Things just got interesting, y'all. <laughs> so we got a line blown. Get my trusty flashlight back in. Set on my, my bottles down here. Gotta have all my bottles with me. It's not a bad line. That line right there with that yellow stripe on it. That's uh that's one we're after. She comes down here, and um, if I keep shining the light in here for y'all. She comes in here and sets down on that piece of metal. I'm not sure if y'all can really see or not. I'm trying to make it feel can. Anyway, that bracket right there, that yellow bracket that that line with the yellow stripe is on. It's uh, sitting there rubbing on that, and it's just one of those things you can't really see in there. So she blew. It looks to be a, a main drive line or something. It is going. She's going to drop some oil. <laughs> Look, unfortunately, whenever I go to taking it apart, so it goes from just right there. But where it's at up there, everything's hot. I'm not touching all that. And it's gonna come back here, and we're gonna have to take. Let's see, we're gonna have to take this line right here loose. That, that four bolt flange, we're gonna have to take that loose. That's the line, and I'm hoping I can have enough room to get in there and work a ratchet and stuff um, without having to take this loose, because this is your main feel. Or actually, I think that's a return. No, it's one of your main 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 feeds. So it's not in a bad bad spot, but it's in just a bad enough spot to make things just go like damn it. <laughs> we were rolling along pretty good this morning. So yeah. Anyway, got a long walk. We'll walk out and uh let this thing cool off for a little bit and when we come back down here, we'll uh, we'll bring y'all along for the journey. Maybe we won't cuss too much for y'all while we fix it. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. So we haven't done a video in a while. This ain't gonna be anything elaborate. I guess it's gonna be a good catch y'all up type thing. I feel bad I'm leaving my, my fans in the dark, I guess you'd say. I just about need a somebody to ride around behind me and video and publish stuff. Maybe I need to get my kids out here doing that, huh? <laughs> but uh, it's it's incredibly difficult, guys, anymore to do everything I do. Plus, it, the filming part's easy. Like throwing a camera up, getting that out for y'all. That's that's easy. 
difficult part is trying to uh, find time to make decent edits and everything else. So anyway, I just felt like I had the camera with me. I'm having to run the cutter today, and I was going to try and get some cool shots and whatnot, make y'all a decent little old vlog, but as my luck here lately would have it, that's not going to be able to be possible. We just had, we've had a decent week going, um, we've had, we just had a really long stretch of bad luck, and I'll, I've always shown y'all the good with the bad, and I guess y'all are going to ride with me here. We're going to talk for just a minute. I guess catch y'all up and explain a little bit more of what we got going on and everything else. So, uh, so I guess let's talk about what we're doing right here. We're doing a first thin, as you know, what we kind of typically do. It's, uh, it's a stand of slash pine timber. Pine slash, however you want to say it supposed to be 15 years old I haven't physically gotten down and counted the rings on it but man she just she, she's not growing well for 15 and uh, we whoops, shoot <laughs> dropped it and then hit me anyway I think we might be messing up a little bit by cutting this but it uh not mine so I just follow instructions and um, the slash if you cut it a little too early sometimes you can like stun its growth so I'm oh, that broke again we'll just set that down right there and that piece to go to the loader backwards so I'm trying to leave it a little thicker a lot thicker actually try and help it maybe uh, slash doesn't have a lot of crown structure in it to begin with and if you open it up really really thin the, the trees it's like they kind of lose their stimulation to grow upwards and they don't even really grow outwards at that point like blah blah it up they can be stunted on their upward growth and grow outwards you'll have a short fat log this stuff here you'll just have a short chipping saw you know so anyway it's uh i'm trying to weed through the bushes and stuff here the, the understory in this is horrendous as y'all can see so i'm trying to sweep as much of it around and help the loader out it's it's so bad that even the skitter is having trouble building full drags because after about the second or third bunch he picks up he can't see his butts no more and uh just, there it was there's a stump right there and i run up on it i do not like running over stumps even i mean it was just a little you know, it might have been three inches but stresses your tracks and I don't like doing that. The tracks are expensive. Any anywho we're just we're, I'm, I'm just trying to run through this, open it up a little bit, pull some of the bad stuff out. Maybe, maybe it'll continue to grow. Um So we had actually tried to purchase, well not tried, we did purchase a second skitter. It's another John Deere 748. And um, I had it, we was gonna start trying to work my operation a little bit different. And the idea that I had was definitely going to work. That machine was just not a good fit for us. It had a, it come off of a job that 
they did not take care of it and it was very much abused. I thought maybe we could kind of apply some of our tender loving care to it and revive it. And, uh, no, that, that machine has has issues. And so I did get, get my back. And uh, so we had that all go on and in the process of that uh, was, well, I guess what kind of helped us figure out that that machine had issues because the way we were originally using it, it it was doing a fine job my machine had a factory flaw develop at 6,000 hours I know somebody's gonna be well that that's just that's just normal wear and tear well, I would agree but the factory apparently did not put a Carter key in the castle nut that holds the yoke on the rear end the rear differential for you technical people and the nut eventually come off and it let the yoke it didn't ruin, ruin anything it just let the the yoke walk forward a little bit started pouring a little bit of oil out of the rear end that's how we found it no harm no foul a new seal and cleaned up the splines on the yoke and put the nut back on it torqued her down to spec and she's she's been she's been back there good old skidding wood self but in the process of waiting on parts and stuff to get that here or to get that fixed we had to run that other skitter full time and it really showed its true colors while we were trying to work it hard and so we just I, I, I just you know made the business decision you know look that, this just this, that's just not a smart idea trying to keep that even as a, a part-time like machine it's going to end up costing me more money and downtime and headache than it's gonna help so we sent it back and If I can ever get a second skitter lined out, the little idea that I had tried, it was it was working fantastically. So it's just now starting to kind of dry up decently. We're starting to work our way back deeper into this game reserve that we typically work. Um, the deeper in here we go, the wetter the ground stays year round everything runs to this it's like a it's basically 60,000 acres and and the very center of it is the lowest point so it's like a big old bowl everything just runs into it um so we you know we're starting to work our way back into the better wood even though this here is a little bit young i was hoping the bushes were so thick in it where i tried walking it you couldn't get out in it really well I guess you say I rolled the dice. They were, you know, they were wanting it done, and I looked at it. And they said it's 15. Usually, 15-year-old timber, you get off in it. It's, it's usually decent enough to make a good job out of. And if it didn't have all this understory in it, it would work out pretty good. But yeah, so we're hoping it continues to dry, and we can continue working our work way further into the back that's where our, you know the wetter ground always has the better wood typically um, so hopefully it'll continue drying I think yeah in the last video we talked about us having a, you know we purchased a, a log truck finally and got all that going on with it It's been one thing after another. We the new 724 that we bought. Y'all saw the last video on. It blew a couple of big lines in it. That's just common with it being uh, a, you know a used machine and the hours that are on it. Those particular lines, same lines blow on any of the other Tiger Cat bunchers I've ever ran in about the same hour time frame. 
so we got that taken care of. This stuff is brittle. Brittle, brittle, brittle. Y'all can also see we got some pieces missing on the back of the saw head. Spray the window when you turn it that direction. We finally got the truck kind of lined out, it seems. Uh, I've hired a mechanic full time. Uh, that's made a big help on me being able to stay, you know, keeping my focus on the job and running it instead of having to every time there's a little issue with the truck, we have to shut down and go take care of the truck. seems to be getting better. Quotas and stuff have been pretty tight so far since the last time we I've done a video. It's weird that it's, you know, we're just now getting into the second quarter and meals are as full as they are. Uh, I think that all kind of just stems back down to an economical thing. Nothing crazy exciting has happened, like you know, flipping anything or anything like that. It's, uh, it's just been one thing after the other, that's, that's for sure. It's been, let's see here, it's, I think since January, you know, my job is typically set up to run 50 loads a week and since January I think we have only ran uh, I think we've had three 50 load weeks scattered here there and yonder since we since January middle of January been tight to say the least and it's aggravating to me because I, I enjoy doing a lot of other stuff like this YouTube or even the TikTok stuff or um, you know just being able to be involved with the logging community and going to the shows and all that other good job I can't I can't do any of that because we're I couldn't even attend my Louisiana logger board meeting last month as the day that we were supposed to be going you know of the meeting and that one of the days the truck I think that was the day the truck chewed the rear end out of it after I had paid a, another mechanic to preventative maintenance it for me and then he didn't 